count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Do it with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reads. So, I don't know. I've been feeling like let's do a Cardi B and Offset, a celebrity reading, right? We're going to do a Cardi B and Offset reading. I'm going to be answering three questions, which is why are they breaking up? Which I feel like a lot of us know why. But if I can get as much details as I can, you know, be a little nosy. Um, why are they breaking up? What's next for Offset? And then what's next for Cardi B? So... Let's see what the T is, right? Oh, well, the reason I think that they broke up is I think it's because of Offset's infidelity. And I also feel like it's because he might have a child on the way. Or he may, she may have found out that somebody may have had a child. You know, this person, like, either the child is on the way or I'm getting a sense that maybe... It couldn't have been a, you know, a sticky situation where they knew that the baby was coming and then, you know, maybe somebody went to the chop shop or something like that. But we will see. Please make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit guides. Why are they breaking up? Why are they messages as clear as possible? Why is Cardi being upset? Breaking up. Why are they getting out of Why is Cardi being you know, upset? Breaking up. Why are they getting out of voice? I was quite being upset, breaking up, and why did you get a divorce? Why is Cardi B and Offset breaking up? Why is Cardi B and Offset getting a divorce? Okay, so we have change at the bottom of the deck. You can't see because of the light. But change says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and it's interesting that that card says that because we have surrender we have gratitude and we also have pride so i feel like the reason why they're breaking up is because um this is something that was long overdue we've seen how their relationship is and how they were breaking up getting back together he had infidelity issues he was cheating um cardi b was sitting here like you know that's that's mine you know i feel like she has a possession thing Especially when it comes to men that she loves. You get what I'm saying? I feel like she's a, I'm, I'm her daddy's girl. I mean, I don't really know too much about her relationship with, between her and her father. But I know the men that she has dated. Like, you know, I've seen videos of her fighting over the men that she was with or whatever. But with the surrender, gratitude, and pride, I feel like the reason why they're breaking up like now is because it's like it's time for a change. It's time for something different. It's like you have to let it go. Like, you know, e even if you love somebody a lot... You know, no matter how much you love a person, no, no matter how much love you have for the situation or whatever the case is, sometimes you just have to let it go and be grateful for the things that you have learned. Be grateful for, you know, things that went on because it's all learning and life lessons. I also feel like with the pride, it's like you have to put your pride to the side. I feel like Cardi B, I, and I'm saying Cardi B because I feel like, you know, I think she's the one that may have initiated the breakup. That's just my opinion. I think that she's the one that initiated the breakup and the um the divorce and things like that, you know, because it's like you have to be, you got to get over it. You know, at some point you have to be over it. You have to put your pride to the side. Like you have to understand and realize that some people simply just don't change. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't change. Some people don't mature. Some people just naturally don't grow up. And you know, um, certain things could have fell out like work wise, you know, you can't, you can't make it to work or, you know, you're not giving it as much of your time. You're not giving it your all because, you know, you're so in love. You're so in, you know, lackadaisical a little bit, but let's see what we have here. Look at that. The cards that came out just now was the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. Like I said, infidelities, cheating, you know, doing things, um, doing things like irrational, not irrational, but, um, just... I know there's cheating, but let's see. Let me get some cards. Make these messages as clear as possible in the first place, spirit guys. Why is Cardi B on offset breaking up? Why are they getting a divorce? Why is Cardi B on offset breaking up? Why are they getting a divorce? We have the three of wands. Why is Cardi B on offset breaking up? Why is Cardi B on offset breaking up? 
getting a divorce. We have the magician. Why is Cardi B offset breaking up? Why is Cardi B breaking up? Why is Cardi B offset getting a divorce? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why is Cardi B offset? We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Why is Cardi B offset getting a divorce? Why is Cardi B offset? We have the Six of Pentacles. Why is Cardi B offset getting a divorce? Why is Cardi B offset getting a divorce? Six of Wands, why is Cardi B on offset breaking up? Why is Cardi B on offset getting a divorce? We have Lovers at the bottom of the deck. We also have here the Two of Swords, right? Ooh, the overall energy is the Strength card. The strength card could be very, it could be strong energy, but it also could be very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, stubborn energy as well. So we have the three of wands, the magician card, and we also have the eight of pentacles. So with those cards coming out, right? I feel like she waited for, I think she waited for him to change. You know what I'm saying? Waited for him. Cause I feel like with the magician being here, like he could be someone that is very, I heard high maintenance. I feel like he's a person that is very good in survival mode. Like, you know, came from nothing to something and things like that, but also very manipulative. This is someone who's very good with their words. Um, they're very good with the things that they have around them, the tools that they have around them. So because he has a lot of money, he's really, um, I feel like he's a generous person. Because he lives in a big house, he would let somebody sleep in his house. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he can, he would. You get what I mean? And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles being here, you know, you try so many times just to see if it's going to get better, if it's going to work out, if it's going to change. And sometimes it don't change. And the only thing that changes is, you know, either either hiding things better or, you know, like manipulating a person better or, you know, lying better, you know, things like that. I feel like also um, they're breaking up and getting divorced because it's easier that way with the Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. It's like... You know, give me what you need to give me when you have to give it to me. Like, whether this is money, time, energy, just give it to me when you need to give it to me. And I feel like they're both going to be pretty better off. I, I feel like also, I, I really do feel like them being with each other or... Uh, Y'all can see that these are both very rich individuals. But um, the only reason, in my opinion, that Offset is still any type of relevant, and this is just my opinion, is because he's with Cardi. Because Cardi B is very relevant and she is, you know, she's a popular rapper. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to take anything away from Offset because, you know, he paved his own way for sure. He paved his own way for how he makes music and things like that. And, um, you know, the ad-libs and things. Yeah, sure. But I just feel like they may, it, it's, I'm even getting a sense that I feel like they're going to make more money separate especially Cardi. I think she's going to make more money separate away from him. Um, with the Six of Wands, the Moon card, and the Nine of... I just... There's a lot of things being hidden, a lot of secrets. Six of Wands, the Moon card, the Nine of Swords. Certain things, like... Somebody could have got a promotion. There could have been some money coming in. There could have been some... Like, some type of success happening. And I feel like there, there's, there's secrets. There were secrets, like, of someone being very successful or, you know... Um, Maybe even, I, I also even get in a sense that sometimes um, one wouldn't even be that proud or that person would have too much pride to be like, oh, congratulations, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody is jealous of the other person because they're not where they want to be in life or they're not doing as well as they thought they was going to be. You know, somebody could suffer from anxiety, depression, things like that. Um, I also feel like, you know, a cover up, you know, sometimes you cover up. The things that's going on behind closed doors, especially celebrities, like you start, like you, 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 
you you see that celebrities you sometimes you don't even know what's going on inside their house like you are only there to speculate you can only speculate from what you see in the tabloids you know sometimes a lot of times what you see in the tabloids is not even necessarily true <laughs> it's not even necessarily true right why is cardi being offset breaking up why are they getting a divorce but i do feel like he's a manipulator that's just my opinion and she tried to make it work on numerous occasions with this man and i feel like and it's a, he's an opportunist in a, in a, some way shape or form why is cardi being offset breaking up why are they getting a divorce We have wedding. Why is Cardi B and upset? Breaking the wedding and divorce. We have Alicia X. Why is Cardi B and upset? Breaking the wedding and divorce. We have new love. Somebody um, unrequited love. Like I said, there could be infidelities. We have a wedding, um, Valicia X. I, I, I'd be very interested if one of these motherfuckers get married to somebody else after they was with this um, with each other for such a long time. But we have wedding, Valicia X, romantic feelings. Um, this is something that was bound to happen. With the Will of Fortune being here, this is something that needs to happen. Like, you know, I feel like their time is up. The cycle has been repeated enough. The karmic cycle is done. It's over. Their time together is finito. <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but that's what I'm picking up on. It's time to focus on new love, whether this is a new romantic partner or, you know, new love in like a business aspect or maybe even like self love. Why are you being upset? Why are they breaking Why are they getting divorced? Why are they breaking Why are they getting divorced? Yep. Something confession. Like I said, the new love, the lovers, new love, confession. Somebody's either in another romantic relationship or simply like I said, the infidelity infidelities. Um spread your wings abundance of um evaluation. Free that what doesn't serve you, reevaluate the situation. <clears throat> I'm trying to tell you. I can't make this shit up. I just feel like it's it's a better it's better that way. I don't know if somebody, they could have signed a prenuptial or maybe they didn't sign a prenup so she's going to be able to have his money or I don't know. They're going to have to split their money down the line or split money. They, I feel like they're going to make more money separate. I really do feel like that. Give me one card. Why did they break up? Why did they get into divorce? Yep. Psychic abilities. And y'all know, if y'all don't know, um, Cardi B is, um, I don't know if she does any witchcraft or anything like that, but I know she does, there's certain things that she do, like certain rituals and, you know, she's a spiritual girl and things like that. So I feel like there's something telling her, like, it's just time to go. And that's, I feel like with all her crying, like, getting on social media and crying stuff and stuff like that, that's emotional release that she's having. But, yeah, that's what I got with that question. We're going to move on to what's next for Offset. We want to see what's next for that young man. And I'm gonna start off with the towel. Make these messages as best possible. Verse for spirit, guys. What's next for offset? What's next for offset? Make these messages as clear as possible. What's next for offset? We have the Ace of Swords. What's next for Offset? We have the Three of Cups. <laughs> What's next for Offset? We have the Ace of Pentacles. What's next for Offset? The World Card. What's next for Offset? The Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Sorry, the Eight of Cups. What's next for Offset? And we have the four of wands. We have the strength card. And then we also have the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. So 
like I said about the infidelities, the cheating, and things like that. Um, I feel like that's gonna be something that's being revealed with the Ace of Swords and the um, Three of Cups. There's gonna be some type of truth that comes out, okay? And it's interesting. We have the Ace of Pentacles being here. There could be some money coming in. Um, I could definitely see that there's gonna be some money coming in. Some of y'all, I said some of y'all. I think that. With the Ace of Pentacles and the World card being here, I feel like he's going to be making money off of social media, a lot more money off of social media. Um, I don't think it's going to... I don't I don't know. I was like, I, it's going to be from hate comments. It's going to be like maybe people cracking jokes or talking about him and stuff like that. I feel like uh, what's next for him with the Eight of Cups and the Four of Wands, he, I feel like he's emotionally tapped out from, that, um, from the relationship. Hmm. And then we have the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the King of cups yeah he was someone that wanted his cake and eat it too because like i said with the ten of wands the ten of cups and the king of cups i feel like he was an individual that wanted to have his cake and eat it too and it was it's, it was becoming too much to carry trying to be this you know, this husband, the father, when you are also wanting to be someone with the, the tower card, the king of wands, the queen of swords, and then we have the um, the queen of wands. You want to be this person that is just like so happy, you know, emotionally available and things like that. But it's like you can't do it no more. I feel like you can't carry that anymore. It's become burdening. He is this person. This is just who he is. And then it's like he kind of met his match in some way. I feel like he would prefer to be, I just feel like he, he spent so much time kind of caging the animal. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here? Let's see what else we have. What's next for um, Offset? I feel like he's going to pop out with somebody as well, whoever this third party is. That's going to be something that like blows up with the Ace of Pentacles in the World card. It's going to be something that comes out on the internet that's going to... What's next for Offset? See what I'm saying? We have children. We have attraction. He could be someone that's very fertile. Well, clearly he has a lot of kids, but... This person is going to be younger. This person may be younger. What's next for Offset? It says, stay optimistic about your love life. What's next for Offset? We have children again coming out. What's next for Offset? Love yourself first. Very soon. I'm trying to tell you, I think he's going to pop out with somebody. He might pop out with somebody. He may pop out with a damn baby. What's next for Offset? We have Decisions. What's next for Offset? Peace. What's next for Offset? Boundaries. We have deception. So I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. And the decision that he's making is going to be something that brings him a sense of peace. Um, he's going to be having or needing more boundaries. You get what I'm saying? So you may not see him on social media as much. This next for offset. I feel like he's deciding to choose his peace. This next for offset. We have passion. He's going to be getting back in the studio or whatever his passion is. That's what he's going to be focusing on. That's nice for Offset. Look, fertility. I'm trying to tell you. I think he got somebody pregnant, bro. <laughs> Either he got somebody pregnant or he got something like he's stirring a pot for something. Something is happening. What's next for, what's next for Offset? We have clarity. Grieving, child. I need to take a sip. Next, <laughs> we about to do a party. 
we about to do Cardi. I feel like he got somebody pregnant. I'm trying to tell you. I think he got somebody pregnant. Somebody is somebody's pregnant. It could not. I wonder. We want to see if it's Cardi B. We want to see. Oh, yeah. Let me get one of these cards. What's next for all second card? Let's Acceptance. Accepting things for what it is. Change. A change of mind. Change of scenery. Change of situation. Something's changing. Okay. And let's see what else. All right. Now we're about to do Cardi. What's next for Cardi B? Anything that's just as best possible. I was also hearing that Offset may start a show. He may start a show on the internet, maybe on YouTube or some type of series. Make these messages as clear as possible. It's nice for Cardi B. We have the King of Swords. We have Temperance. I'm going to just put that there. What's next for Cardi B? We have the magician. So maybe she was the controlling one. What's next for Cardi B? Well, that's what she's about to be. That's for Cardi B. But like I was saying before, look at this. We have the three of swords and we have the Empress card that fell out. I feel like this heartbreak is definitely gonna help her glow up in a sense. Oh, she could be going through this heartbreak right now and pregnant, but you know, she's also a mother. So, you know, that heartbreak could be making her just be more in her feminine energy, be more in her nurturing, loving, caring energy. Because, you know, you got she's around her kids all the time and you can't be so down in the dumps. You know, you could cry here and there, but you got to do what you have to do for your children. You also have the Six of Cups, is what I'm saying. She's, gonna, she's about to get back into her, like, <laughs> how she was, her mentality was when she was a stripper, maybe. What's next for Cardi B? We have the Will of Fortune. What's next for Cardi B? We have the Knight of Cups. What's next for Cardi B? We have the Four of Wands. What's next for Cardi B? Six of Cups came out again. Um, we have the King of Pentacles, and we also have the Knight of Swords, and we also have the Seven of Swords. I heard issuing an apology. I don't know. I can see her issuing issuing a po apology. Maybe she's gonna be going live saying something like, um, not. I want to say being apologetic or just simply like. I heard work in the crowd. I don't think Cardi B is a bad person. I don't know Cardi B. I don't know this damn girl. But from what I see, she doesn't seem like a bad person. But I know that um, the King of Swords is definitely a, a very logical, smart man. You know, this is a person that um, I feel like with me saying man, and we have so much, you have the king, we have the magician, the king, the pentacles, the knight of cups. I definitely do feel like she's stepping in her, more her masculine energy. You feel me? We have temperance here um, that popped out. So it's like she's going to have to have patience. She's going to have to learn. She's going to um, be learning to balance out her energy. I feel like she was more probably her feminine energy with Offset because she probably didn't have to do as much. Um, take that as it resonates. And, you know, she's still a hardworking woman. But I feel like, you know, she's about to take on the bulk of a lot more things or she's just going to be wanting to keep herself busy so she don't have to focus too much on the breakup or the relationship. I am getting the sense that... Um, Things is going to be working in her favor with the Magician card being here. Money, of course, is going to be coming in as well. Four of Wands, I'm, I'm thinking about a sense of stability. Sustain, sustain, sustainability. I'm trying to say that word right. 
I, did, I definitely do see her getting back to bases. You might be going back home a lot, going back to the Bronx to visit family and stuff like that. But I also get a sense that, she, like I said, she's going to be going back to, like, her mentality, like, from when she was a stripper, like, grind, working hard. You know, even though she's on top, like, she wants to stay on top. We have the Knight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Yep. I feel like he reawoken that B word. I really do feel like that. Let's get some more information. What's next for Cardi B? Change. What's next for Cardi B? Change in plans. Because they both had change. So it's like a change in plans. What's next for Cardi B? Growth. What's next for Cardi B? And we also have service. Still going to be given. We have grief. She's grieving. Grieving. He's grieving. This is definitely going to be something that's going to take some time to get over for both parties. But this relationship is going to help Cardi grow into a better, a better person. What's next for Cardi B? We have dedication. What's next for Cardi B? We have deception. What's next for Cardi B? We have overcoming obstacles. We have confession. Whatever this deceit was, deception, I said deceit. Whatever this deception was, is going to be something that motivates her to keep going, um, keep her striving. I'm trying to think if there's going to be... I feel like maybe there's something that came out. Either something that came out that's going to come out, that's going to show how he's, you know... Just no, well, I, I feel like I should know that everything is not gonna, everything is not gonna come to light. But like I said, I really do feel like the lies and the cheating or whatever the hell they have going on is gonna be something that keeps her going, motivating her. Um, I definitely feel like she's gonna have a false mask, like smiling, she's in doing what she gotta do. So you know, behind closed doors, crying. What's next for Cardi B? We have attraction. What's next for Cardi B? Forgiving and learning. What's next for Cardi B? And we, we also have separation. Getting to know each other. Yep, getting to know each other without being together. Getting to know each other, the individuals. Getting to know each other, you know, separate. But definitely going through a, a separation. Learning and forgiving. You know, not holding on to resentment. Keeping herself looking good, feeling good. What's next for Cardi B? Transformation. What's next for Cardi B? She might cut her hair or she may change her appearance in some way. Color her hair a different color. But she do a lot of colors, but she might change her hair in some way. What's next for Cardi B? She might be a little bit more free. Even though her ass is already naked, she may be a little bit more naked. You might see her video with, I'm trying to tell you, where she's on a pole or something like that, like how she, in her stripper days. Courage. What's next for Cardi B? And healing. Mm -hmm. Finding herself. And then we have passion. Guys, listen, that's it. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this little reading. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything else or if there's another celebrity couples or celebrity person that you want me to do a reading on. Let me know. And I'll do it. I think these are, um, I enjoy these. So that's it.